Watch this brick turn into seed starter mix, believe it or not. After watching Justin's Rhodes video, Just Plant, I decided that I am going to start some plants here in this apartment. And the first part of starting any plants is the soil. Half of my soil is going to be this hard block of coconut core right here. We're going to add some water to this, watch it absorb the water and grow into 50% of my seed starting mix. The other half is going to be a Kellogg's potting soil mix that I'm going to sieve. I'm going to show you those processes coming up in the next steps. This brick of coconut core is seven by three and a half by two and a half inches. The package says that this will expand into about eight quarts of soil. You might want to ask, what is coconut core? Well, it's the byproduct of harvesting coconuts. It's basically the coconut husk uh, that's been processed and cut up fine. Um, it acts like peat moss. It actually uh, holds a lot of moisture. Obviously, since I'm going to pour about four quarts of water onto this block to hydrate it, um, you can see that it's going to hold a lot of water. Also, will add some air space into the soil. It's very similar to peat moss, but it's more sustainable than peat moss. Um, a lot of people are moving towards this coconut core uh, for seed starting um, instead of using some peat moss. So that's what coconut core is. So the first step is to rehydrate this coconut core. So it says it'll add about four quarts or four and a half quarts of water. So let's see this process. It says it's only going to take two minutes. Let's see how long it does take. It is expanding. I think it's going to take a little bit longer than two minutes. And I don't think I'm going to be brave enough to add all four quarts. I've added about three, maybe three and a half quarts. But you can see it's starting to expand here, starting to get wider. And it will come apart in the water. So we'll just take off what has hydrated and then re-soak what remains with some water and see what we get here. See it's pretty fibrous but still quite a bit of soil. It's um, The fibers might be a problem planting seeds. We'll see when we mix it with other potting soil. Starting to break off in some sheets here. these up. Let it keep absorbing the water. There, now it's breaking up these more pieces. And it might, it might take all more than that four quarts of water. Just keep turning around and soaking them up some water. Probably a smaller container that concentrates the water might work a little bit easier. Oh, this is definitely going to take Probably more than the four quarts of water. See, almost all the water inside of here is absorbed. So we'll add the rest to the four quarts. I don't think it's going to be any problem absorbing that four quarts. Just keep breaking it up.
See, there's quite a bit left. I don't want it really wet. You can see I'm s squeezing water out of it. So I'm just gonna let this absorb the water I have. There's still some dry pieces. See all that stuff flying in the room? Don't worry, this is my daughter's room, so she'll have to clean it up. Keep mixing this up. It's pretty wet at the bottom. So I'll just keep mixing it up. I think you can see that it's made some pretty nice material. I think we mix that with some soil. And it's going to be a really nice potty mix. You can see it's, if I grab a hold of it, I can squeeze some water out of it. So it's holding a lot of water, a lot of moisture. But I think it really does need to sit and absorb some more. So that's step one, coconut core. Alright, the next step in the process is to take this Kellogg's All Natural Potty Mix. It's Organic Plus. It's a one and a half cubic foot bag. You can see it has some natural ingredients. It's for annuals and perennials, fruits and vegetables, outdoor pots. See, it does say outdoor containers on it. I did write Kellogg's about using it indoors and they did give me a response. I'm not really sure what they said in the email is true or not. I don't think it is. So I'm going to try, give it a try anyway, send some indoor containers. But I don't really want to say anything about it in the video right now. Um, you're going to have to look at the blog post that goes along. You can see that in the bottom um, of this video. So the next step is to take this potty mix and sieve it because it does have some garden or forest products in it. They may be too big for seedlings, especially for microgreens. So they recommend um, running the soil through a quarter inch sieve. I didn't really want to go buy the screen, make a box to make a sieve. So I went to the dollar store and got a colander. They're a little bit smaller holes than a uh, quarter inch. They're probably eighth inch. But I'm going to give it a try first anyways. It's only a dollar. Worst case, I go to Home Depot, get the materials, and make a quarter inch sieve. So I'm going to take this Kellogg's Garden Organics All Natural Potty Mix. Put it into a colander and sieve. As you can see, I've already emptied the coconut core up into a different um, container. Um, it is a little short. I'm kind of messy, and uh, it's okay. It's my daughter's room. She'll have to vacuum it up. No, just kidding. All right, so let's get on with the second step here: adding this all-natural potting mix to my soil. <laughs> As you can see, that was a pretty tedious process. A quarter inch sieve would probably work a lot better than that colander. But again, I just right now, I think I'm good with using the colander. It's just going to take me a while. I don't want you to go through all that. So I'm going to finish up this project. Um, you might wonder what I'm going to do with the uh, coarser material that's left over. Well, I'm going to add it to a bin and make a little compost pile out of it. 
I do think that that uh, potting soil um, will work. It, um, the reason Kellogg suggested uh, that it was bad was the fact that it has some cow manure, I'm sorry, not cow manure, chicken manure in it, and it has a, might have an odor. I didn't really smell any odor. It smells like a nice soil to me. And I think it's going to be just a great mix to use right in the pots when I grow my tomatoes and my peppers or anything that I put into larger pots. I think it's going to work really well. As you can see, that's some really nice soil. It come out really nice. I also have one extra special ingredient I want to add in. So when I reviewed the film, I saw that the, the camera cut out after I was adding the coffee grounds. So I'll just review what I did. So I added um, to the sieve potting soil, I added about a quart of uh, spent coffee grinds. Again, this is to acidify the soil. And then I added the eight quarts of coconut core. And this is the uh, result of what I got. It's a really, really nice uh, soil starting mix. I don't know if we can see it well enough here, but it's a really nice, rich soil. Nice and fine, really mixed up well. I think it's gonna be a, a really nice seed starting mix. So that's my seed starter mix. 50% coconut core, 50% Kellogg's potting soil, and a little bit of spent coffee grinds. Uh, if I had to do it all over again, I definitely wouldn't use the colander. I'd go to a quarter inch sieve and uh, sieve out the, the uh, natural wood products out of the potting soil. A lot of people are going to say, well, why didn't you just go with a commercial seed starter mix? Well, I sort of wanted to have a little bit of more flavor in my greens. I think the more natural the soil is, the more nutrients that the seeds uptake. Even though they say the seeds get all their nutrients from the seeds themselves, or I'm sorry, the sprouts get all the nutrients from the seeds themselves, I still think the soil has something to do with it. So I wanted to add a little bit more um, good type soil into it. And I thought that would be a good choice is to use their potting soil. We'll see how it comes out, right? And we're gonna see how these microgreens turn out. So what's the next step in my seed starting mix? Well, I need to turn this corner right here case and plants and nightstand and couch and by the window is, I need to turn that into my seed growing area. So that will be in the next block.